From the Home Slice News Center, this is the Daily Slice for Wednesday, August 14th of 2024. I'm Amy Rose, and this is What's Going On. Traffic entering Sturgis for the 10-day run of the 84th Sturgis Motorcycle Rally was up nearly 3% from a year ago, according to the South Dakota Department of Transportation. DOT reported that the total number of vehicles entering Sturgis from Friday, August 2nd to Sunday, August 11th was 470,987 as compared to 458,161 for 2023, up 2.8%. The state determines the count by placing traffic counters at nine locations entering Sturgis. The South Dakota Highway Patrol is investigating a fatal motorcycle crash in Lawrence County. Here's Gary Matthews with the story. A 22-year-old man died in the single vehicle crash Monday evening, 10 miles south of Spearfish. The patrol says the 2014 BMW motorcycle was traveling on Highway 14A when it failed to negotiate a left-hand curve and crashed into a wooded embankment. The driver became separated from the bike and suffered fatal injuries. In national and international news, Ukrainian forces are pushing on with their major cross-border insertion into Russia's Kursk region for a second week. On Wednesday, they claimed to have taken more ground, captured more Russian prisoners, and destroyed a jet bomber. The commander of the Ukrainian military said that since the start of the day, assault troops had advanced one to two kilometers in some parts of Kursk. He also said that Ukrainian troops took more than 100 Russian soldiers prisoner. The surprise Ukrainian charge into Russian soil that began August 6th has rattled the Kremlin. The ambitious Kursk operation is the largest attack on Russia since World War II and could involve as many as 10,000 Ukrainian troops backed by armor and artillery. Donald Trump has lost his latest bid for a new judge in his New York Cush Money criminal case. Judge Juan M. Merchant, in a decision posted Wednesday, declined to step aside. The decision comes as the case heads toward a key ruling at potential sentencing next month. The request was the third from lawyers for the Republican presidential nominee. They've argued that Merchant has a conflict of interest because his daughter works as a political consultant for prominent Democrats in campaigns, including Vice President Kamala Harris's 2020 presidential run. She's now Trump's Democratic opponent in this year's election. A state court ethics panel said last year that Merchant could continue on the case. Tropical storm Ernesto is dropping torrential rain on Puerto Rico and has left hundreds of thousands of people without power in the U.S. territory as it threatens to strengthen into a major hurricane en route to Bermuda. Ernesto is expected to become a hurricane later Wednesday as it moves away from land. The storm is forecast to move through open waters for the rest of the week and make its closest approach to Bermuda on Saturday. It is forecast to become a major Category 3 storm in upcoming days. Your weather forecast from the Home Slice Weather Center, mostly sunny today with a chance of afternoon thunderstorms and tonight. Highs up to 86, 64 tonight. That was your Daily Slice for Wednesday, August 14th of 2024. The Daily Slice is a production of Home Slice Media Group, hosted by Amy Rose with Gary Matthews, executive producer Mark Houston, engineered by Chris Jacquez. I'm Amy Rose. Have a great day.